Loyola is fortunate to be the first program in the entire city of Chicago, in fact the entire state of Illinois, to be the first T-CAR approved program. The carotid arteries can develop blockages, which can be a concern for stroke. One of the ways we can treat that is by using carotid stents. Carotid stents are traditionally delivered through the groin via wires and catheters. We bring that up into the neck artery, the carotid artery, and we deliver a balloon and a stent to open up the blockage. You can imagine little pieces of plaque can escape and accidentally go to the brain causing a stroke during carotid stenting. So normally flow goes from the heart in your chest to the brain through the carotid arteries and it goes up that direction. T-CAR uniquely reverses the flow. So instead of the blood going to the brain, we bring it to the groin. So it now goes the reverse direction. And by doing that, we completely protect the brain from any clots or plaque or debris. So you might wonder if we're reversing flow during the procedure to protect the brain, well how does the brain get blood flow? Well, there's a lot of other blood vessels that bring blood to the brain. The other carotid artery on the other side, vertebral arteries in the back of your neck. So there's a bunch of other collaterals that provide enough blood flow to the brain. If there was ever an issue, we are constantly monitoring the neurologic status and if we have to, we can stop the reversal of flow. The bottom line is that the T-CAR procedure, which uses a reversal of flow, prevents strokes during the procedure better than any type of umbrella filter prior to this.